Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Virgo, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. The beginning of all the holidays, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Give us guidance. Um, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2021? One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Your first card here is the Death card. So there is transformation. This could be Pluto's energy as well. Uh, that may be currently influencing a lot of changes in your life right now, Virgo. Your next card here is the Two of Wands. So there is transformation in regards to a connection with someone that may be at a distance uh, at the present time, or perhaps there could have been some type of ending, some type of um, distancing or pulling away from one another. Uh, with the Two of Wands, I do see communication opening up again. Your next card here is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is to do with balance. This is to do with... Uh, uh, when we're talking about career and finances, there's a major transition that you've been going through, uh, Virgo, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, there's been a lot of expansion with the Two of Wands um, and the Death card. There could have been a situation where you felt like you were at crossroads, where you didn't really know what to choose or you didn't really know what path to take. Um, however, with the Two of Wands, I feel like the opportunity kind of landed um, and you may be experiencing this in the month of October, uh, where you kind of get an idea and you run with that, um, and it turns out to be very, very prosperous for you. Um, now, for others of you, this could represent um, getting to the point of knowing um, that there is expansion that needs to happen here in your career and in your finances. For some of you guys, this could be you looking into a bigger space, uh, there may be a desire or a want for some type of relocation. This could be moving, um, physically moving. Um, this can also uh, represent, um, like I said, expansion, looking into um, having bigger space is what I'm hearing. Uh, so for some of you guys, um, this is something that is going to be unfolding in the month of October. Uh, also a lot a lot of prosperity around you guys your next card here is the high priestess so there are certain things that are unfolding i feel that for some of you guys you've been manifesting or uh, doing visualization exercises or connecting with spirit with your ancestors i feel that the more you uh, tap into your spirituality virgo the easier it is for you to manifest anything that has to do with uh, material um, so this could be you know finances this could be career this could be money this could be um, you know purchasing your first home uh, making a big purchase um, because there is a need for expansion like I said um, but again with the high priestess here very important to listen to your intuition for this month of October um, as I do see that it's going to really pay out for you, especially when we're talking about career and finances. Your next card here is the Six of Cups. So again, I feel that we go back to that of the message initially. For those of you guys that were dealing with someone um, where there was some type of distancing, distancing or some type of pulling away, could have been a situation where there was some type of conclusion, some type of ending, um, because you've been solely focusing in uh, wanting to grow and wanting to stabilize yourself. I felt that for some of you guys, uh, this could have almost served as a distraction um, from overthinking or overanalyzing. I feel like you guys have purposely been keeping yourselves busy. However, if you've been noticing like this person is popping up in your mind lately, it's no coincidence. They are heavily thinking of you and they will be reaching out um, to you in this month of October. I want to say the end of the month uh, could be the third or fourth week of October. I definitely do see communication with a person that was from your past that perhaps there was still some hoping or desiring to hear from them. So I definitely do see that. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.